pigweed of the week looks a lot like water hemp or palmer pigweed, but fortunately it's not. It's just red root pigweed. Now, it's easy to tell the difference between the two. Basically, water hemp and palmer pigweed, they are hairless. But red root pigweed, you can tell that apart because it's got hair all over it. Well, the other thing about red root pigweed that's a little bit different is there's still a lot of herbicides that can control it, and that's a good thing because all the same herbicides that work for water hemp and palmer pigweed, yeah, they work for red root pigweed too, but there are some other options like Roundup, for example, it yep. still works great on red root pigweed. Yep, and not only that, a lot of the ALS herbicides will work okay on it. So if you take that into account, you go, well, why are you guys even talking about red root pigweed if it's so easy to kill? Well, we are because we still find red root pigweed all over the place. So we wanted to talk today about what are your best options in corn, soybeans, and wheat. In soybeans, for example, our three pre strategy works fantastic on small seeded broadleaves like red root pigweed. Use one of the yellows like Treflan or Prowl, use Metribuzin, and then use Valor or Authority. And if you do that, you probably won't see many pigweeds come through. Post emerge, you should be able to control red root pigweed just fine with Enlist One, with any of the dicamba products on Extend crops. You've got Liberty, you've got Roundup. So there are lots of options in all the traded crops. Now, how about if you have, let's just say, conventional? soybeans. Now how do you control red root pigweed? Darren, what's your best shot? Well, what I would do is still use that three pre strategy. It's very important for any of the soybeans that you're going to be planting. Then in crop, think about a couple different things. One, you may want to use some warrant or a similar product, a group, a group 15. 15 herbicide, to extend your residual window. Use that with your first post-emerge pass, which should occur about 28 days after your planting. Now, maybe, may, maybe it earlier It may vary a little that, bit yes. depending on what your growing because conditions are. They don't kill any, any weeds that have emerged. You have to have the group 15 on before the weeds emerge. That's true. And you also want to put it out with something that's going to kill any pigweeds that are already up. And what would something, that be? Something like <laughs> Flexstar or Cobra yes. would be good options, especially if you use them early. Now, if you said, I've used them late in the season and they were hit or miss, Yes, because you use them as a rescue product. They're designed as an early post-emerge product. That's where they work the best. And on Red Root Pigweed, you also have Pursuit and Raptor and a few other ALS products that'll have some activity on Red Root Pigweed, not so much on Water Hemp or Palmer. Okay, turning to corn, I would suggest starting with Verdict, follow post-emerge with Status or one of the HPPDs. If you can throw a little atrazine in, you're great. If I go to Wheat, then we're talking Sharpen, post-emerge, I'd probably pick Husky. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, Red Root Pigweed. But stay tuned because Iron Talk is coming up next. <music>